So one thing that we were uh, experiencing uh, or when we came up with with our energy equations, we, when we came up with kinetic energy, we did something a little different than the other ones. If you remember right, we said kinetic energy, well, we said work was the integration of force dot dr, where dot product is a multiplication between two vectors, r is a vector, and f is a vector, force is a vector, and distance is, or displacement is a vector. Um, and then we said, well, looking at Newton's second law, we, we're going to take this idea that f is equal to ma. Okay. And, and that's totally incorrect. Um, F does not equal MA. F net, or the net forces on a system, equals MA. It was something completely different. So we did the substitution like this. Then we did an area, we did some swapping around of variables, and we ended up with this, which is giving us the equation of one half MV squared. Okay? That's kinetic energy. Excuse me. Um, here's the thing. This is a different kind of energy than potential energy. When we looked at potential energy, we basically have, there's actually a third potential energy from electrostatics. And we'll talk about that when we talk about the modern forces, which are not terribly modern. Um, Newton comes up with one of them, to be honest. So they're, they're, they're kind of around in the very beginning, but I use the word modern because it's, they're field forces. They're, they're a different kind of force. Um, so, But anyway, this is different than all of our potential energies because uh, of its motion base. The other reason it's different is this derivation, where I'm coming up with this idea, F is equal to MA. And I, and I, the hint of why it's different is what I said about MA. MA is not a force. It's the sum of all forces. So when we're doing this integration, when we're going to get energy out of it, or work out of it, you know, they're kind of almost interchangeable. When we get this, this energy equation out of it, we do this substitution of F equals MA, but we're actually substituting not a single F, but all Fs, all, all forces in the system. We're considering all of them at that point equals MA. So this is not a force, but is the result of all forces. So when I come up with kinetic energy, and I experience a change in kinetic energy, that means that the kinetic energy that I experience this change in is a result of all forces that are acting on it. And if I take it one step further, if I say this f dot dr is actually f dot dr, f dot dr, f dot dr of all the things that do work, all the forces that do work, going on and on and on and on, taking into account everything that sums up this f in order to get ma, that means that it's not only the sum of forces, it's the sum of all the work. So it turns out that this, this kinetic energy equation, this change in kinetic energy, because an object can have kinetic energy, but remember work is an attempt to either speed that object up or slow that object down. The, the net effort to speed or slow an object down is this change in, gives you the change in kinetic energy. So, so all of this work that's being plugged into the system produces a change in motion and that motion is this is related to this kinetic energy. I mean we got velocity here. We actually have velocity squared here which is kind of a little bit different. So that means the, the going around and around around this that means that this is equal to net work. So any changes in kinetic oh I don't want to think of network. I want to think of net work. Okay. So this change in kinetic energy is the network in the system. If I can measure how much changes this object experiences, how much its kinetic energy changes by, I know the network in the system. And that's actually kind of cool. I mean, when we looked at forces and trying to add up all the vectors, you have to get all of them together and experimentally it's very difficult to do that this idea of network says all right i know this force i know this force i know this force i don't know this force i don't know the force of friction let's say so i know all of these i know how much work is done here i have a measured change in kinetic energy i could actually figure out how much work friction is doing in that case 
Then I got distances, and I'm like, bingo, I'm in like a burglar. So it's a nice way of simplifying things, but you got to realize that this this idea of f equals ma f in the f equals ma equation is not a force but all forces that are acting on that object all forces produce a change in motion when you can when you combine them all they produce this acceleration okay so when we when we add up all the work to it it produces a change in kinetic energy cool so that's another part of the work energy theorem that the change in kinetic energy of an object is directly related or is 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 equal to the network done on a system okay and, and it's normally expressed this way because there's more than one type of kinetic energy there's really three that we're going to be looking at okay cool